Okay, so here's the axe, now it's more or less finished. <coughs> As you saw from the uh, fo previous photos, the axe head was uh, in pretty bad condition. It was pretty rusty, very heavily pitted. Um, it was very blunt, very blunt indeed. The uh, This part was all sort of folded over from bashing stakes in, metal stakes or whatever it had been used for, I don't know. But uh, I've managed to grind it up, as you saw on the earlier clips. Um, I've tried to clean it up as best I can. I am going to do a bit more work on it, um, but it's not too bad at the moment. Uh, I've put a, I have ground a sort of edge on it. I'll do that a lot better, and I shall finish it off with a, a little grinding stone uh, to get that sharp. Um, there is a sort of print an indent there of the maker but you, you can barely barely make it out um, I'll do might do a bit of research on that but I can hardly read it uh, as you can see I've had to the handle the end of the handle was in bit uh, bad state of repair so I've cut the end off I've chiseled the little V out there so it's the actual head is moved down the handle a bit um, on the end I've bought a new wedge and put that in the end I don't know whether I've done that properly but I've done it as best as I can so it's not too bad it's, it's firmly on there and um, I've cleaned up the handle I've put a hole in the end I'm going to put a lanyard on there uh, so I can have that wrapped around my wrist when I'm using it and um, I'm on to about day I think I'm on day five now um, putting the uh, walnut oil and white spirit mixture onto the handle uh, you're supposed to do it every day for a week every week for a month and every month for a year I got that from Pete Mazadan Mazadan's uh, channel he's a great guy, he's very passionate about what he does and he's out outdoor uh, pursuits and I asked Pete whether he thought walnut oil would work because on his video he uses linseed oil and he suggested give it a try and uh, let us know what the results are so Pete this is how it's looking um, it's, it's come up very nice actually I'm quite I'm quite pleased with it uh, I'm, I'm going to put another coat on now just to show you how it looks but it's coming up quite well so I think I can report that the walnut oil uh, does work um, I don't know whether it's going to react at all in the coming months but at the moment it seems to be okay so that's my axe that I've restored that I found in the shed and I'm going to put that to some use very soon and do a field test on it so now I'm just going to apply my next coat of walnut oil and white spirit mixture and I don't know whether you'll be able to pick this up or not but when you actually apply it the wood takes on a really nice effect I'm going to try and do it as best I can so you can maybe see it and you can see that but it really highlights the grain I've already sanded this down with wire wool I'm just applying it but you can really see the grain highlighted now you put the mixture on I'll try and get it as best I can so you can see that but, uh, it does look really good I must admit I do really do like it it takes it takes some time to do because you've got to do it every day for a week but in the whole scheme of things it's no effort at all really get some in the lanyard hole I don't know whether you can hear the wind out there, we're just getting the aftermath of the recent hurricane here in the northwest. It's blowing a gale out there, so I'm better off inside. Now on the end, I don't know whether you can see this, Let's see if we can get it in the light. I've actually carved an initial in there, can't see it very well. It's, uh, oh, it's upside down as well. I've carved a little M in the end, not for Jester, but for Mick. 
that's me. So I always know that's mine. It's pretty easy to recognise anyway, but I just thought it was a nice little touch just to personalise it for me. And not forgetting the eye. And what I will do is I'll go outside and I'll sand that back in with the with the wire wool. So there we go, that's the latest coat complete. And I'll go away now and I shall just work that in with the wire wool. Okay, I'll be back shortly. Right, I'm back in from the howling wind. I've rubbed that down now with the wire wool and worked the uh, mixture into the handle. I've cleaned it off with a with a rag, paper towel, and this is the result. It's a bit difficult to get on camera, but it does look pretty good. I need to just hang this up now to dry. I'm just coming towards the end of the week now, and I just have to start doing it once a week. So there you go Pete, I think it does work, the walnut oil, I'll keep you updated as, uh, as time goes on, see how it's looking, um, and I'll just uh, take a few, few more close ups now so you can have a closer look. Ok Pete, thanks for your help on this one, uh, thanks to everybody else for watching, please make comments, uh, any advice you've got on maybe this kind of thing will be greatly appreciated and I'll see you on the next video.